Hey yo, what is up YouTube? It is your boy Joe K5OX and something I always want to do was anime versus battle and I actually happen to have anime games for each of the main like shonen anime that most people watch in the past and currently still somewhat. I have Naruto, I have One Piece, and I also have Dragon Ball. And thankfully I have J-Star Victory Battle, which is like this Super Smash Brothers version of like anime games. You comprise into one. You got characters from each anime universe all into one game. And it's actually pretty cool. But the fighting system in it is very bare bones. Like, there isn't much to it, honestly. It's kind of a letdown to me. Since that seems to be, like, anime's attempt at making their own Super Smash Brothers. But all in all, it's like, eh. and I would recommend it if you're a huge anime fan. This is just to get the feel and the feel of it. So, first, let's get into it. Now, this is going to be a Naruto, pretty much a what if battle. And here's why I want to do Naruto. First off, as my what if battle series. Naruto, there, there's a lot more, how can I put it, likely to have happened or could have happened versus something like, well, one could have happened. They're all very likely. So, let's get into it. First things first, folks. The fight is going to be my man Sasuke versus Hashirama. Now, now, you may be asking, now we know Hashirama was in this fight. A lot of people think Hashirama could beat Sasuke in 101. Now, I don't, I don't doubt why people think that. Hashirama was seen as a god among men, among shinobi. He destroyed Madara on multiple occasions. He destroyed Madara with Kirby Sasuno and the Kyuubi Cloak. That is just absolutely ridiculous if you actually. One man should not have that much power. But granted, Sasuke is a reincarnation just as um, Hashirama and Madara was. Which means their genes in a sense kind of transfers over to them, which is kind of what made Sasuke a huge prodigy in a sense, and um, made Naruto such a sponge when it came to absorbing super difficult techniques. <clears throat> now, I want to get this out of the way. I know for a fact that I'm going to make a couple mistakes in this video with quoting certain things, so don't hold me to it. But let's get into it. Alright, Sasuke versus Hashirama, part one. Okay, there, there, there's no debate here. Hashirama takes the dub. Alright, I'm not even gonna try to argue this down. I'm not even gonna try to back Sasuke up on this because it's just, it's it's really stupid to even try to put that version of Sasuke versus any version of Hashirama. I mean, this man grew up in the warring era. He, he knows nothing but life or death, so it's, yeah, he had to be a monster. I, I can't I can't see Sasuke coming out on top. Um, beginning of Shippuden Sasuke versus let's say the first version of Edo Tensei Hashirama, the uh, the third Okage for Now, do I believe Sasuke could be this Edo Tensei? I do not. And here's why: this Edo Tensei was still a monster for reason. This man was also praised to be a genius amongst no Shinobi. One of the strongest Hokage to ever live. And he he had difficulties fighting Orochimaru. Granted, he wasn't in his prime. He had difficulties fighting Orochimaru, Hash Hashirama, and uh, Tobirama. All three of these guys were monsters in their own right. But Hashirama and Tobirama, even as... Just even as Gero Tensei, they still possess power far above most characters in the series. I mean, granted, they didn't have their their conscience. If they did, and they were fighting him freely, then yeah, Hashirama would have gotten down. There would have been absolutely no way he could have. He, he, he wouldn't would have stood a chance. I'm sorry. Even in his prime, I don't feel like he would have stood a, a chance against those two. They're just too, they're too much of a genius. But here's where um, things kind of get tricky with, with that Sasuke and Hashirama, the Edo Tensei Hashirama. Now, he, he doesn't have his own conscience, so he's only using techniques that he's authorized to use, such as um, the, the infinite darkness genjutsu, but Sasuke can get out of genjutsu, so that's countered. Uh, forest reemergence. Now, I don't know what Sasuke could use to actually counter this because he doesn't have a grand scale fireball technique. Most of his techniques are lightning related at that point and I honestly don't see them being able to obliterate 
the forest as Hashirama can produce as fast as Hashirama can produce it. Because you gotta realize this man can create literally an entire forest in the blink of an eye with that tank. Deep fur fur uh, deep forest emergence jutsu is a very daunting technique. It is very difficult to uh, stop. We saw that in um when who was a moderate moderate used it around the beginning or mid the middle of the war when he first popped up on the scene. Naruto had a hard time. He, he sent, I don't know how many clones he sent, sending nothing but Rasengan's to try to stop it. And I still don't think he was able to completely stop it. Which is absolutely crazy because we know that Naruto's Rasengan damage is through the roof. So that in itself says a lot. And so I give this one to Hashirama as well. Now, I don't know if I want to consider Taka and... Um, Mingekyo Sharingan Sasuke as the same character because they kind of like they're, they're now Matarazu. This technique I feel could be a huge counter against Hashirama's wood style technique, but the problem is this puts a major strain on Sasuke's eyes. Now, if he had to use a Matarazu every time Hashirama was about to use any kind of wide scale technique, I feel like he wouldn't have been able to compete. And at this stage, his Sasuno wasn't evolved enough to actually counter much of anything. I mean, the, the fourth Rakage broke, a, broke like through the rib cage or another, which is what he would have at this point anyway. I don't feel like he had anything defensive enough to actually save him, like, against anything Hashirama could do. Now, so again, I'm giving the, the dub to Hashirama on this. Now, this is where things start to get really interesting and kind of tricky. You have... When Sasuke got his eternal Sharing... Inter, inter, eternal Mingekyo Sharingan, he also gained the, the ability to control his fire style release, which they called Inton. Inton. It was where he could manipulate his Atomarasu flame to take on any form and any shape. Now, this is where things get super interesting. Sasuke, just imagine Sasuke using, let's see, Fireball, Dragon Phoenix Jutsu, or whatever it was called. Imagine him using that, coding it in Atomaratsu, and Hashirama using the Forest Emergence. Me, personally, I feel like that Sasuke would have the advantage here with that technique, but Sasuke could also combine his lightning with his Inton attack. So that adds to a whole new level of damage output compared to Hashirama's attack. Um, by the way, I'm still using like pre pre conscious Hashirama as like the scale here. I haven't I haven't gotten to the, the Hashirama that was arrived by Sasuke and Orochimaru. And so I finally give a dub to Sasuke on this. So going ahead a little bit more, we go on to. The awakened conscience, Hashirama, the one who literally damn near shattered an entire building just by glancing at his brother. And shit, his brother cracked the floor just from emitting some of his chakra, which is absolutely monstrous. These guys were on a whole other level. And to me, I feel like honestly, I don't I don't I don't feel like this Sasuke even could stood a chance against um, Toby Rama at this point. And we know that Hashirama favorizes Toby Rama. So, with that being said, uh, even Sasuke with Inton release, it, it, just, it just isn't looking good for him. Now, let's, let's skip a little bit more to the, the Sasuke that fought with Naruto at the Valley of the End. Now, this Sasuke has a lot more though. He has Renegon. Matter of fact, we're going to give him Master Renegon technique. Just to make this fair, and we're gonna give Hashirama Sage Mode just to make this like the most balanced fight possible. Now you have Sasuke with all the six paths of pain power. He can absorb chakra. He can uh, he can absorb any chakra based technique. Um, he can use Almighty Push, Almighty Pull. Uh, he can teleport. Um, he still has his Inton release. He still has his variety of lightning style technique, which it's he has a large variety of lightning style technique. But he has a lot of lightning style techniques. Um so this is just gonna be a wild card type thing I'm gonna go for here. 
imagine Sasuke using Kiran with Inton with an Inton coding. Now think about that for a moment. This is the technique that destroyed the Uchiha hideout and damn near killed Itachi. This technique has some serious damage output. And I want to I, I, I want to preface this by saying I want to use um, Hashirama's thousand arm summoning uh, technique or whatever it was the wood the woods giant wood statue that had like a thousand arms that just completely pulverized Madara and Kiki. I want to use that as a reference point. Now Sasuke's chakra pool is a lot huger, well a lot bigger. Sasuke doesn't know save mode, but Hashirama does. But I guess uh, Hashirama a slight advantage in terms of damage output as well, and sensing abilities. So I think he would be able to gather. I, I, I think he'd be able to sense like what's coming. Now, would he be able to stop it? That's the question. That is the big question here, and I feel like this could be like a deciding factor for the fight. And matter of fact, we're just gonna make Hashirama alive because if he's uh, Ito Tensei, he, regardless of what Sasuke do, he can just generate something. So Hashirama's alive. And he's alive. Now, these two are going off at it. Sasuke has all his abilities at his full disposal, and Hashirama has his. Imagine, just imagine the type of damage this would cause. You got a never-ending fire. You have a lightning-based attack that destroys anything it comes in contact with. And Hashirama's best defense is push style. Granted, Hashirama has great healing abilities, but I don't think that would be enough to honestly save him or stop this technique from completely wiping him off the map. I mean, you have wood. What happens to wood when it catches fire? It burns. You have a light. It's, co it's, it's, it's covering lightning. Lightning's gonna also burn wood and uh, obliterate it from what we've seen. It's just... I don't, I don't see Hashirama actually being able to come out of that situation alive. And, um, I mean, Sasuke can literally make me do I, 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 I'm a huge Hashirama fan, but Sasuke from the end versus Hashirama Prime, I'm giving the edge to Sasuke. I gotta give it to Sasuke. He just has too much at his disposal, and we gotta realize he does have Yingy Yang release. Thus, he does have the potential to possibly be able to use Wood Style if he so desired. I believe. I mean, he has the Truth Seeking Orbs at his disposal, possibly. It's just so much that we have to take into account when it comes to Final Sasuke and Primed Hashirama, and I honestly just feel that Hashirama is outmatched here. I ain't gonna say, I'm not going to say outclassed, but he's outmatched here. So I'm I'm giving the final fight to Sasuke, but overall in most situations I feel like Hashirama would come out on top until we talked about the last Sasuke and um and uh the Sasuke from the Boruto movie. Those are the only instances where I see Sasuke actually being able to come out on top because he just had so much at his disposal and yeah, I mean if you guys enjoyed the idea of this and you like the concept, be sure to like button, comment, tell me what you think. Who would you like guys like to see next? Who would you like to hear me talk about next? And as always, it was your boy Joker 850X, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Let it go. Let it go.